Hello everyone. Today we will see how to prepare paneer tikka masala. I am using 200 grams of paneer, 3 teaspoon of curd, 1 teaspoon of methi leaves, 3 teaspoon of gram flour, 3 tomatoes, 1 onion, ginger and garlic. First we are going to dry roast gram flour. We will roast it for a couple of minutes. After 2 minutes, we can turn off the heat and let's keep this aside. Next, we will prepare some masala to fry paneer. First, I am taking 1 teaspoon from the roasted gram flour. 1 teaspoon of curd. little salt little chili powder coriander powder mix them well so I have mixed it and then we can add the paneer to it and mix it all over the paneer And let it marinate for 15 to 20 minutes after 20 minutes we can fry the paneer so I'm using one teaspoon of ghee once the ghee is melt we can start adding the paneer So we need to fry the paneer on all four sides. So after a minute, start to turn the paneer to the other side. And in less than three minutes, the entire paneer will be fried. Once the paneer is fried on all sides, we can turn off the heat and let's keep this aside. Next, we are going to prepare onion and tomato puree adding 2 teaspoon of oil once the oil is hot add the onion and fry this onion until they turn light brown in color once the onion is fried we can add ginger and garlic and let it cook for 2 more minutes after 2 minutes we can add the tomato and let it cook for 5 more minutes. So by now the tomato is also cooked well. We can turn off the heat and let it cool down. After some time I took everything to a mixer jar, add sufficient water and we can grind it like a fine puree now. And the puree is ready and let's keep this aside. the heat add 2 teaspoon of oil adding little cumin seeds 1 green chili and little hing powder and we can add the puree adding little water now I am adding salt, chili powder close to 1 teaspoon, coriander powder 1 teaspoon and little turmeric powder and half teaspoon of garam masala and mix them well. Close it with the lid and let it cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, just mixing it. And now I'm adding the curd. Mm -hmm. 
roasted gram flour and methi leaves mix them well add little water if required now we can close it with the lid and let it cook for 10 more minutes on a medium flame after 10 minutes the gravy is cooked well and now we can add the paneer Just mix it and we can close it with the lid and let it cook for 3 to 4 minutes and not more than that after 4 minutes and i'm adding little coriander leaves just mix it and then we can turn up the heat and our paneer tikka masala is ready please give it a try and thanks for watching